Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a good holiday season and a happy Saturday, um, weekend, whatever. <laughs> um, I wanted to talk about, um, because it is the holiday season, and I'm sure all of you guys know what I'm talking about when I say that there is there is an increased stress around the holidays because of expectations, you know, all the Christmas shopping and um, hosting events or um, hosting family members or, you know, with the blended family thing, you have to like go to four, three different houses, you know, um, maybe in one day. There's just a lot going on in the holiday season. And so I wanted to, um, so I got the idea to talk about relationships, but not just relationships with people that you know and love or that you are acquaintance friends with, but also with people that are, um, that you, that are complete strangers to you and you interact on a very surface level, just even for just moments at a time. Um, it's, it's a very important topic in the spiritual community of learning how to, um, navigate your emotions how to have um, intense max, max, maximum um, compassion and love for people um, because it, first of all you don't know what people are going through you have no idea um, people don't know what we're going through vice versa and so it's really important to be super aware of how we are conducting ourselves not just during the holiday season, of course, all year long. The spirit, one of the spiritual practices is learning com unconditional love, compassion, and love towards the self and of others. And I've talked about this in many of my other videos. But I wanted to address um, when we aren't in alignment with what our, what our souls truly are, which is love. And peace and harmony that's who we really are it's hard to believe that because we've been so brainwashed and so um, told what to believe how to interact with other people you know how to conduct ourselves in relationships based on mostly from programming um, from television from our parents from society we're taught how to interact with people and um, it can be very um, detrimental and um, just damaging to how we interact with people, especially when we're under high amounts of stress, when we are um, dealing with stuff that's going on in here, which I think with a lot of the circumstances that are going on with COVID and all that, um, that can, that's just adding to it, you know. Um, there's a lot of people that may have like a lot of financial issues right now. Uh, so cr the holidays can be even more stressful, but holidays are not. I want to center it around the holiday season because I do want to stress that we need to have ultimate compassion and love for people during the holiday season. But I also want to stress that we need to, as spiritual awakening people, as people who desire to get out of this service to self mentality as the the people that want to grow expand and to live a better quality of life we really have to learn um how to s consistently and especially when it's hard to practice love towards self compassion towards self and compassion and love towards others, and especially towards, well, both. I mean, you might have some real karmic stuff with people in, um, that are friends and family in your life that you're like, just, you know, you just grind and you don't do well with them. Um, but then also on an everyday level with the strangers that you interact with, it's very important to the spiritual practices that you develop over time, um, learning how to have that unconditional love and that compassion and not knowing where they're at in their lives. And a lot of people live their whole lives or they live most of their lives in a lot of pain, 
and in a lot of trauma. And so it's really important for us as um, people on the spiritual path and as light workers or as, you know, a person who is aspiring to become uh, more of who, you know, to to heal and expose more of who you really are inside instead of putting up all these masks and, and being fearful all the time. And um, um, there's no judgment with that. That's just how we're that's just how we're programmed. But what I'm saying is, is as we develop our spiritual practice, we learn how to take those masks and those walls down so that we be can become more of who we really are. And that allows us to open up our heart center, which allows us to have more compassion and love towards others. And definitely, if you don't first learn how to have more compassion and love towards yourself, it's going to be really hard to open up your heart center to doing that with other people. Um, and another point that I wanted to make is the mirroring effect. And that goes back to what I just said. When we have a hard time opening our heart space to ourselves, it's really hard for us to do that with others. Um, it's a mirror effect. Life is a mirror. It's a reflection of ourselves and our consciousness. So when we are feeling a certain way, um, towards life, towards people, um, which can, a lot of times we're programmed to think negatively and to beat ourselves up. And, um, so when we feel that way about ourselves, when we beat ourselves up, when we are not consciously aware of our feelings and our emotions, and we're not just being aware, we, um, we, without even knowing most of the time that we're doing it, we're projecting it out into the world. And so what happens is that there's a mirror effect where the people in our lives will trigger the fuck out of us. I mean, literally, I mean, I know there's been times where I have been so mad at some of the people in my life without even realizing that it was ultimately my problem. It wasn't, had nothing to do with them. It was a mirror effect. And so I basically, um, a couple of circumstances come into my life where there, where, where I was com in, tremendously triggered um, one, which was more of like a sad, um, crying kind of episode. And then another one where I was really, really, really mad and just, I mean, I was seeing fire. So when we're triggered like that, we, um, we have to realize that it's deeper than that. It's, it's a mirror effect, you know, like we are, What's going on in here and what's going on in here is being mirrored through the people, through the circumstances in our life. It's like a big projector. And I encourage you guys, if you're not really fully educated on this topic, it's a spiritual topic, I encourage you to, um, to research this. And I can, I can um, link some of my own resources in the description box for you. If you are, if you're listening to this and you're not really fully knowledgeable about that spiritual dynamic, but marrying is a big thing. And so I know personally in my own life, as I've learned more about this concept, when I am triggered and because I'm trying to be more consciously focused of what I'm doing and thinking and how I'm reacting to other people, because I'm, because I'm becoming more aware when I'm, um, when I'm interacting with people and when I'm experiencing how they're reacting to me, if it's not always positive, I'm like, okay, what's going on inside myself? How am I thinking about that person? How am I thinking about the situation? How am I reacting? How am I doing, you know, all this stuff plays into it. It's a mirror effect. And the more we can digest and well, not just not just digest, but bring up, you know, all of that trauma and all of that programming that keeps us from forgiving and loving unconditionally and being our most authentic, loving, peaceful, harmonious selves, joyful selves, then we can we can we we just learn how to love people more and we have more of a like a, a the calm waters you know like we and we heal we heal inside we heal inside
Um, it's just a better quality of existence. I know for me personally that learning how, doing these spiritual practices and learning how to observe myself and how I interact, especially when I'm stressed, especially when I'm triggered, especially when I am downing myself, you know, when I'm having one of those days where I'm just having a really hard time not downing myself. It's in those times that I'm really learning how to um, love myself and love others more because I'm observing it instead of um, allowing the triggers to control me, the subconscious programming, all of that stuff. Um, it's, it's a spiritual evolution that creates a much better quality of life. Your relationships improve, your finances improve, your health improves, your um, role, your relationship with yourself and with God improves. I mean, it's just there's once you discover that level of love and acceptance and um, you are consciously at all times, well, hopefully at all times, trying to stay conscious of what you're, how you're reacting to things and how you're processing things and how you're moving through life. There's guys, there's just, it's, it's wonderful. And, um, I'm not saying my life's put together. I'm not sitting here on, you know, I don't ever want a pedestal with anybody. I am, if anything, I like to think of it. My coach, he, he always, he often refers to, um, his life being like a laboratory and, um, that he, as he moves through his pain, as he moves through his spiritual awakening, um, as he moves through healing himself, he, he offers up his, his content and his beautiful work um, as a means of helping others on their own journeys. And that's kind of how I see myself too. I see myself in the exact same way. Like I don't ever want to preach down to people. I just want to come from their level and, uh, you know, from whatever level you're at. And I've, and I've been through many different levels so far in my life. I know that I have way more to go, but, um, how we how we interact with others, how we interact in our relationships or with strangers is a major spiritual practice and it's something that can really skyrocket our spiritual growth and it can skyrocket our the quality of our lives into a lot more abundance, love, peace, joy, all those things that I always talk about that I always encourage um, us to focus more on as we're moving through the pain journey, as we're healing ourselves, as we're coming out of these programs, as we're coming out of these um, belief systems that just do not serve us in the least. So, um, I think I have covered it pretty much. Um, I, um, if you want coaching, if you want to reach out to me, my email is rachelkdonna1111 at gmail.com. I wanted to show you guys some of my... My son has this idea that he wants to create, like, I don't know if we're going to do Etsy or what, what platform we're going to use, but he wants to... Because he's good at art. Like, he um he does these paintings and these drawings that are just... I mean, they're, they get... I feel like they get better every day. And he's always been into that, into the drawing and the painting and the coloring and stuff. And so this is something he made last year at the end of first grade. Isn't that wonderful? I mean, I think it is. I, I know I'm his mother, but I mean, look how intricate and detailed that is. I just, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's crazy. And he also watches these YouTube tutorials that help him. This was a YouTube t tutorial, but... What I'm saying is, is that I want to get some kind of platform set up for him so that he can, he wants to sell his own artwork. <laughs> I just, I think he's so cute. He's got that entrepreneurial spirit, like his mommy and daddy. Um, but I just love that. I love the eyes and everything. I mean, it's just so, like, that's an eight-year-old's drawing, you know? I don't know. Anyway, I just thought that would, I would add th that there in the end. Um... 
have a good weekend. Enjoy your holiday season and um, hope you enjoyed this message. Please like and subscribe. Also comment if you enjoy the messages. Um, I like to hear feedback, you know, um, whatever it is you want to, you know, tell me about or, you know, just give me feedback on my videos or whatever. It doesn't matter. I just, I want to hear from you guys because I know I, I know I get views and stuff. So I, I would love to build a community and, um, really start connecting with many of you. Um, so if, if you want to do that, if you co feel comfortable doing that, then do that. And, um, or reach me at Rachel Kadana 1111 at gmail.com. All right. Love ya. Bye.